This week on Fallout News, Todd Howard wins a Lifetime Achievement Award. Bethesda makes a man break his Fallout 3 vinyls and five reasons why Piper is the best companion ever. Stay tuned for this episode of Fallout News. I'm Jackson Jones. Todd Howard, we all know and love him, and this year he's winning the Game Developer's Choice Lifetime Achievement Award for all of the great stuff he's done at Bethesda. I myself am very happy to see him winning this award, and I think he really deserves it. With all of the countless hours I spent playing Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4, he's had a big impact on my life, so awesome, he's going to win a Lifetime Achievement Award. The man deserves it. He will be receiving this award in San Francisco on March 16th, 2016. Next up, Bethesda tells a man to break his Fallout 3 Collector's Edition soundtrack vinyls. What? Yes, it is no joke. A man named Paul Watson ordered the Fallout 3 Special Edition vinyl soundtrack with four vinyls in it. Upon receiving them, one was warped. And of course, he called Bethesda, sent them a picture of what, what had happened. Bethesda said they're very sorry, but they can only refund the amount for that one record of $25. But then Bethesda said something like, you know, if you want all of the money, uh, you're going to have to destroy the records and send us pictures of the destroyed records. So that's exactly what he did. And Bethesda gave him the full $125 back. How nice of them do that. I don't know many companies that would tell you to break their product so they can refund you for it. But hey, Bethesda's out there, and I love them. Why can't everyone be as nice as Bethesda? I swear to God. Next, five reasons Piper is the greatest companion you will ever have in Fallout 4. Starting with number one. Piper is the best looking female companion that you will ever find. Yes, Kate and Kiri are good looking, but Piper, the animators and developers just did so well making her look so realistic and beautiful. Honestly, they did a super good job. All of her animated parts are in proportion, and it uh, looks like her face is carved by angels. And I think they did a really good job with all the NPCs and the companions, all the human companions at least, making them look as human as possible. And I mean, even the you know the lone survivor, they all look way more human and way more realistic um, than they did in Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. And yes, you could attribute this to you know the ever advancing technology and the ever advancing game uh, next gen gaming consoles and next gen gaming itself. But I just really appreciate how perfect they made these people look. Number two, Piper hates synths. I hate synths. Synths are an absolute abomination, and I do not understand how anyone can side with the Institute, no matter how close you are to Sean. Piper hates synths because synths ruin people's lives. And if Piper hates synths, then that's perfect. She's perfect for me. I love that. Number three, her backstory is awesome. From the beginning, you can tell that she wants to give people the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. She will sacrifice her own life to make sure that people have the truth. I appreciate how great her life is, making sure that everyone is able to find the truth, see the truth, and see the Commonwealth for what it is. I mean, that's that's what I do when I try and play the game, at least. Aside from killing people who I don't like for whatever reason. Number four, Piper knows her way around a minigun. I have played with every single companion. Piper is the best with a minigun. I went into the ironworks building where all the forge people live, and she wound up killing more forge than I did. And I was also using a minigun. So either one, I suck as a player, which might be the case, or two, Piper was made for the minigun. And number five, Piper looks amazing in power armor. She's just the all around best companion. She gives you sweet rolls, you can romance her, you get XP when you sleep with her. There's nothing better I could ask for. Unless you're a female character, then... I've actually never played as a female character, so I don't know the best male um, uh, companion to romance. I, I don't know the best male companion to romance. Well, this uh, concludes Fallout News Wednesday. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. And I haven't been doing my gameplay videos a lot recently, and I apologize for that. Uh, those are harder to make than these. But if you did like this video and like some of my other videos, leave a like and a subscribe. A comment, if you will. Tell me what I can do to make these videos better, because I want to do them all the time. They are so fun to make. And if you want more Fallout news, uh, we have our Facebook page in the description. The link's in there. Um, I run it. it we got about 4,000 likes at the moment. Uh, we're growing every day. Um, we love, it's me and three other guys, or me and two other guys and one girl. And we love, we love putting out content for you guys to see and just enjoy. Uh, we love the conversation we get into. And it's, a, it's a really good page. And I really, 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 really want to grow it so I can get even more in touch with the Fallout community. Because Fallout for me isn't just a video game. It is a community, and I love everyone involved with it. All right, well, that's all for Fallout News Wednesday. I'm your host, Jackson Jones. Have a great day out there in the wasteland. 
And remember, be safe because it is dangerous out there. All right, see you later.